You don't become successful because you never fail. You become successful because you never quit. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, we get four great tips on overcoming challenges in life. Enjoy. If you're facing problems in your life, you're not alone. Everyone has to deal with difficult situations from time to time. While challenging circumstances can be hard to deal with, they're also highly valuable. Adversity shows you what you are made of and who you really are. Over time, your character will develop through overcoming adversity again and again. To be successful in dealing with adversity, you can use a simple four-step method to work through a problem and think about how to solve it. These four steps are applicable to any difficult situation and will help you overcome the problems in your life. Number one, define the problem clearly. You can't overcome a problem until you know what the problem is. So, what is your problem? What exactly are you worrying about? Write out the details of your problem. Be specific as you list exactly what is going on. Once you see your problem in black and white, it will be much easier to brainstorm ways to tackle the issue. If you have more than one problem that you're worried about, write out a separate definition for each one. Breaking down your main problem into multiple smaller ones will help the overall issue feel much more manageable. For example, your overall problem might be that your business is failing but you could break that big problem down into three smaller ones. For example, you don't have enough funding, you don't have a strong business plan, and the market is too small. Approaching your main problem by breaking it into smaller, bite-sized problems will help you feel more confident that you can take the steps needed to solve each one. Number two, determine the worst possible outcome. After you've defined your problem, ask yourself, what's the worst possible thing that could happen in this situation? Then, be completely honest with yourself about the answer. For example, you might lose some money, damage a relationship, or lose something else that's important to you. Whatever the situation may be, write down the worst outcome that could possibly occur. This might seem like counterintuitive advice, but in some cases, you might find that you really don't have that much to lose even if everything falls apart. In other situations, there might be more at stake. But knowing the worst possible outcome will help your vision to be clear and focused as you work towards solving the problem. Number three, resolve to accept the worst. Once you've identified the worst possible outcome, resolve to accept it. Tell yourself this outcome is going to occur no matter what you do. If the worst possible outcome is that you lose your business, accept the fact that this outcome is going to take place. Think about how losing your business will feel. Tell yourself it's gonna happen. When you accept this outcome, you'll immediately notice a change in your mindset. You'll relax, your mind will clear, and your ability to deal with the situation will dramatically improve. Resolving to accept the worst will alleviate your worry and stress. You'll have a fresh perspective moving forward. You'll be looking at your problem with new eyes. Number four, improve the worst case scenario. So you've accepted the worst case scenario. What happens now? Now you start moving forward. Throw yourself into the fight to fix the problem. Rather than focusing on what if, you can start improving the right now and focus all of your energy on it moving forward. Don't worry about why your problem happened or who was responsible. Think about the future, not the past. The important question is, what do I do now? List out the steps you can take to minimize the consequences and begin to fix your problem. Successful people aren't people who've never had problems. Everybody has problems in life. What sets successful people apart is how they respond to the problems that they have. Be successful by using these four simple steps to conquer your problems. First, define your problem. Second, identify the worst possible outcome. Next, resolve to accept it. And finally, number four, concentrate all of your energy on improving the worst case scenario. This is the best way to successfully tackle your problems. Now, the question today is this. What problems are you facing right now? Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.